everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I have for you a Tesco food shop. A miracle happened and I remember to book my slot on Sunday afternoon. So at long last, we have got a Tesco shop again. So I will show you what I have got. To start with, I have a 10 pack of small beers just because my husband does like a little beer in the evening and he just prefers these small bottles so that he's not encouraged to drink such a big bottle. Our normal caffeine free diet Cokes. And then I have got two of these apple and raspberry flavoured spring waters because we really like these anyway with a nice glass full of ice and they are free on Slimming World, so that's good. Sorry, <laughs> I sound really puffed out because we've just been lugging all the boxes in, chatting away to the man and oh my goodness, I need to get fitter. A full pint of whole milk for the kids, a full pint of semi-skimmed for us. And then we've got some sunflower oil, which we sometimes use to cook with, mostly the fry light, but just occasionally we still revert to the sunflower oil if we need to. And then a Bisto gravy just to keep in the cupboard because there is nothing worse than realising at four o'clock on a Sunday that you have no gravy for your roast. So I'm going to keep one spare all the time. Uh, Italian chopped tomatoes, a tin of this ratatouille, which is the La Doria make. A lovely lady this week was asking which ratatouille we use. We actually tend to use either the co-op one or we will just order one from Tesco, I guess most of the time, maybe Sainsbury's. And we tend to just either sin it half a sin or we just don't sin it because we get about six portions out of a slow cooked recipe or a spaghetti bolognese. And I just think that if it's less than half a sin, then we kind of just don't sin it but that's just how we do it i guess you could always put half a sin or a sin to be on the safe side and also obviously depends how much of the ratatouille you do use in the recipe but that's the one we've got this week a tin of hot dog sausages for my husband and then one of these is, is it azera the americano nescafe we just really enjoy this coffee um, and it was on offer so just keeping myself stocked up a heinz tomato ketchup and then one of these uncle ben's no added sugar sweet and sour really enjoy that i think if i'm right it's six sins for the jar so you know assuming you have half a jar three sins with some chicken and some rice makes a yummy treat meal so self raising flour just so i've got it in the cupboard for half term so we can do a bit of baking with the kids so sweeteners because that's what we have in our tea and coffee sorry that's lucy running around in the background uh, randomly over here i got some halloween balloons we are actually doing a family halloween party this year we don't normally it's normally my parents but for a change we are going to do it and give them a break this year so i'm just stocking up on some halloween bits 10 of the eggs and then we have got a big bag of the maris piper potatoes i really like these tesco ones because they very often have a couple of large potatoes in the pack so they do nicely for jacket potatoes then I have got a pack of sweet potatoes. I also ordered a butternut squash. They just said to me that they haven't got in stock, which is a bit annoying because I wanted to make the sweet potato and butternut squash soup today. Um, I was gonna film it for later and it's a lovely sin-free soup. So I will have to pop out and get some butternut squash later in the week. Some leeks, just because we've got really into having some yummy cheesy leeks on a Sunday with our roast dinner. They are delicious and obviously you would have to sin any flour and butter that you might use but you don't need to have an awful lot and they're yummy i'm also going to make this week because i didn't get round to it yet is the chicken leek and butternut squash risotto so I've stocked up on some more of those half a cucumber portion a broccoli and then i got how many carrots four carrots got them loose this time because i felt like it was probably cheaper 36 pence for four big ones um, and we've already got some left over anyway three of the fred and flow fragrance free wipes just for uh, when we need them for lucy two of these cathedral city baked bites because oh they are so so delicious i keep having one or two when my daughter has them which i shouldn't but oh they are really really tasty she adores them um so yeah keeping those in the cupboard a pack of small bananas just because this for our children is just a nice size banana not massive ones just the kiddie pack ones and then what we've got here some of the wildlife tubes just for lunch boxes and at the weekend and just to have in the fridge as and when some quavers some corn crackers because i'm going to make a sweet and sour chicken with the sauce that i just mentioned and my husband will moan and moan and moan if i don't have corn crackers with it a 12 pack of monster munch because they were on offer this week now this bit in the middle 
is extremely, extremely treat heavy. I realize that that's not helpful for everyone to see, but soon we are actually going to Disneyland Paris because my boy has amazingly been granted a wish through the Make-A-Wish charity. This isn't an ad, by the way. I just thought I'd mention why I've got all the treats. He's actually been given a three-day trip to Disneyland Paris, so we are all going there very soon. And it's absolutely amazing. We are so over the moon and we are obviously going to take mountains of snacks to keep them happy on the Eurostar and around the park. Hence why we have got all of this. So we've got a twin pack of Jaffa cakes, a pack of the Galaxy Caramel Cake Bars, Dairy Milk Little Bars, Kinder Chocolate and a six pack of the Mini Maryland Cookies. Obviously that is shared out amongst everyone it won't all be consumed at the same time we've just got it there in case so we may well not touch much of it but i do not want to chance a long trip with two kids under the age of four yeah without snacks so that is why that bit is a bit crazy we have got a pack of the sweet easy peelers just absolutely love those and especially at this time of year the tatsumas and things mm, yummy so Petit Falou, a pack of the Pops of Joy Caramel, just as I've said before, we need to feed up my little boy. A pack of these lemon whipped Greek style yogurts, just because my husband likes these. He mentioned them last time and said if they're on offer, which they were, to get some more. A roll of kitchen foil, sorry, I hope I don't miss anything out, I'm darting around, aren't I? A selection of seedless grapes and then some Milky Bar desserts for either of the children. Over here, the two chicken char grills, which I've mentioned before, they are just sometimes a quick tea with gravy and veg for the kids. Crispy potatoes just to have in there in case we need them. And then I've got some diced lamb leg, which I am going to pop in the slow cooker and try and make a lamb tagine. I've got some couscous, which I will jazz up. And I've got some chickpeas and some lentils and things. So I'm going to bung it all in with tons and tons of spices and see how it comes out. So I might film that one for a video, actually, just to see how it goes. A pack of 5% statements, which we always have in. Really handy to make cottage pies and spaghetti bolognese, things like that. And then over here, two bars of baking chocolate. Just like I said earlier with the flour, I like to have bacon ingredients in for half term so that we've got the choice to do things. Eight tortilla wraps because I may well do either baked enchiladas or fajitas. I'm not quite sure of the sin value for those that are following Slimming World. I will obviously sin whatever I have there but they are a reasonable size so obviously one of those would do. And then over the back here, a nine pack of toilet roll, some of the pure fabric conditioner. We really like that one. It's cheap as chips and children seem to get on fine with it. Deodorant, one of these Carex hand soaps, which are lovely. They make your skin so soft. Some Nurofen and Cowpole for the trip so that we've got those. Some bin bags and then we've got two lots of custard creams. Some of the 100% codfish fingers because if we're going to give the kids a treat tea, we try and make it as kind of healthy and good for them as possible. So 100% cod is the one we always choose. A five pack of the apple juices, just so we could take those away as well. And a big pack of garden peas. And I think that is everything. This was actually quite an expensive shop. It was 88 pounds. For us, that's a lot. We tend to try and stick around the 70 pound region. Having said that, we do top-up shops, which we obviously won't be doing this week because we've got absolutely everything we need. More than enough there, got some beers and some Diet Coke, so yeah, I'm happy with that one. So as usual, guys, I have gone to edit the video and realised that, yeah, as usual, I have missed out a couple of items as I was going through the shop. I get carried away and I jump around all over the place, so obviously I'm sure you spotted. We bought some shreddies this week as well, just because I think you can have 40 grams of those on Slimming World as part of your healthy bee and... I personally just love warm shreddies. I don't know if that's weird. Sometimes I add cornflakes, but just shreddies with some sweetener and some milk in the microwave for a few seconds. Love it, absolutely love it. Some people think I'm odd, but anyway, I got those this week because you know it's autumn, nearly winter. And the other one I missed out was three packs of the multivitamin gummies for the kids. So they were on a three for two, really reasonable Tesco's own brand. And again, people have differing opinions on whether they give kids multivitamins. We feel like, we do it anyway, just to be on the safe side. I think they probably do get what they need from their diet. You know, they're pretty varied diet with lots of fruit, veg and salads and things, but 
just to be on the safe side. That's just what we do. They absolutely love them. Orange flavour gummies. They think they're having a sweet in the bath every night. So, yeah, those were the two bits I missed. So I just thought I'd just pop those on in case you think, oh my goodness, she's scooting past all sorts. So, yeah, thanks so much for watching my video. I really hope you enjoyed that. I will be popping my Slimming World update on again for you this week. And then I'm going to have a little think about some different videos that I can get on as well because I appreciate that not everyone is following Slimming World on this channel and it's easy to get wrapped up just on that side of things so yeah I will have a little think about what else I could film if you've got any ideas of anything you'd like to see feel free to pop a comment underneath because it'd be really helpful to know what people would like to see as well if you'd like to subscribe to my channel that would be absolutely amazing I'm also over on Instagram mama underscore hedgehog 2 and you can find me over on the brilliant channel mum with the username mama hedgehog thanks so much for watching bye